Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, this is part of the Blickman Brew Easy series. Don't forget to like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate it. We're gonna take the sight glass apart completely. I mean, everything. And I'm gonna show you all the O-rings. There's quite a few O-rings. There's four just in the top and four in the bottom. You've got the glass, be careful. I'm gonna put it on a high contrast piece of white cardboard so you can see it really well. And we'll look at everything. It needs some Allen wrenches, which were provided, so you should not have an issue there. Start taking this thing apart. Okay, I took the sight glass apart because I wanted you to really get a good look at all the parts. And I put it on white cardboard so you can get a good contrast. You have liters. On the other side, you have gallons for your markings. In here, when I first took it apart, it was a lot of like grease from machining. So I just basically took PBW and Blickman recommends Barkeeper's Friend, but either one will work well to get it out of there and clean it up. Everything else was pretty clean, but just to be aware so it doesn't get on something else. Your sight glass is glass, so you know, be very careful with that. These are the ends that go on each end, and these are the bolts that go inside. The system comes with multiple Allen wrenches so that you can adjust things. I took this one, as you can see is in here. I took it out of the top of this one so you can see, and there is an O-ring in there. And then here, there's an O-ring, which falls right out really easy, so be careful. And then there's two more O-rings in here. So you wanna put this back in, and it did have a little bit of like, I guess, lube on it. You can use something like keg grease if you need to lube it up, just so that way you know it's food safe. And you should be able to get this started with your fingers. And then you don't wanna over tighten and be careful not to hit the glass or get the glass out of your way like I probably should. And there you go. Now. I'm gonna reassemble part of it here so that you can see. I'll put this here, I take this, and slide it in nice and carefully. Okay, I'm gonna put one end here, and then I'll get the other end started, which these are down. And then if I flip these over, that's the side that's gonna go up against the kettle. And then these will go inside the kettle. And that Allen wrench doesn't work. That works for the tips. So that's why you have another one. This one works perfectly. There's a hole through it to allow the flow of the wort or liquid, water, whatever you're doing. And that's it. And we'll just put it back onto the kettle and we're all good. I hope that was informative to anyone who was curious about the sight glass. Definitely appreciate you viewing. If you enjoyed it, learned something, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, definitely appreciate it. And on with the next part.